Hey love, everyone, thank you for coming to the channel and we're going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta that aired today on Sunday, Eastern Standard Time at 8 o'clock. The title was The Model Bride. It was season 11, episode 18. Only thing I can say, Eva was a beautiful bride, but we didn't get to see what they ate uh, after the wedding. Uh, didn't really see no partying going on. And, of course, Nene said what she had to say as best woman, giving the speech to the happy couple. And she got the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> I thought I would just laugh. I was like, oh, wait a minute now, Nene. And every photo they gave us or how they edited the show for the episode tonight, they just had her looking all sad, mad. And just frustrated. I was like, oh my goodness. You know. Then when I went to get my pictures for the video. I was going to be doing it on tonight. I saw a lot of pictures of her smiling. I said, boy, these reality shows. They know they can edit out stuff. So I tell you. Um, Nene looked at just awful. She just, you know, was dressed nice. Face looked at nice, but she was just frowning at Eva's wedding. And I was like, come on, Nene. Let's, let, I mean, I know your storyline is pretty much based and stuck on being this uh, grieving housewife that doesn't have a life anymore, it seems, with her husband because his illness has taken over everything. And she just haven't adjusted very well. So we're seeing more of a negative attitude that she's taking on to Greg, um, or put on Greg, because she's saying Greg mean to her, Greg this, Greg that, and she's sitting there looking at Eva getting married and remembering what her and Greg used to share or how they were when they got married or renewed their nuptials and or we got remarried, or I can't remember, you know, that's going through all the spill with her and Greg when it was happy times, but now, you know, marriage vows do say for better, for worse, for rich or poor, for sickness and health, so I don't know when Nene got off the wagon and decided that, hey, enough is enough, I need my space, let's just separate for a while, <laughs> Because Nene was giving me everything that she was trying to play her part for her storyline. She was uh, hitting every note of it. But anyway, when we first go into today's episode, we got Shamar. She comes over to see Nene at her store, her shop, swag boutique, you know. She apologized to her for doing whatever she did and, and what people say she did. Because, of course... She was living her best life and, you know, having drink after drink after drink because she's constantly telling us in her confessionals or anybody that want to listen, hey, I've been shut down, couldn't drink for two years because I was breastfeeding, so I'm catching up on this thing. I'm a little pint-sized woman, and when I go get my little sample drink on, it seems to just knock me off my feet. Now, most people would tell Shamara that had good sense. You know, maybe you just should stick to coolers or, or you know, wine daiquiris or something. Don't go hit the hard stuff because you're a lightweight. You're a lightweight. You say you haven't been drinking in two years, so, you know, you don't hold your liquor pretty well. But, you know, she's just like, mm -mm, I'm, I'm catching up. I'm sorry. I'm going to drink. But she's not looking at the other part where her demeanor changes all for the bad, not for the good. But anyway, need yourself to apologize and say, honey, you ain't, ain't no worse than the rest of them around now. Because I sure had my uh, issues with uh, Candy and Miss Portia. Then Shamar and Nene, you know, they talk about what had happened and stuff and what uh, people had told her that happened between um, Portia and her and the closet and, and Candy. And, excuse me. And the cameraman filming where they weren't supposed to be in it and Nene was saying, you know, Greg stuff was in there. Her closet was a mess. She didn't want the, you know, them to be filming in there. So it just all just got taken out of character. But usually when you tell somebody in the South to sit down in that one spot, that means it's all places you should go. You know, because you already done came upstairs. When I had left y'all downstairs, you could have just got Indian style on the floor or got on the bed or couch or whatever and just talked to me. Don't go rambling and rumbling around my house. That's what Nene was pretty much telling her. 
And then, you know, they were like, yeah, I see your point and this, that, and the third. And she said, well, okay, what are we going to do about Eva Wed? You know, her wedding is coming up. And she said, well, you know, Greg is, you know, out uh, for the count. You know, he's going through his council thing. You know, uh, can I be a third wheel, you know, with you and Ryan? She said, well, honey, I yes, you sure could. We, we, we would. You take one arm and I take the other. And the only problem with that, Ryan ain't going to be him. He's going to be on tour with his group. So we both out. So I guess we can go together. So technically, they hugged it out and everything. And then he had gave her seal of approval that they were going to go to the wedding together. But it didn't. It changed up real quick. But moving on. Uh, we got even her family. They're having their little spa slash get ready for the wedding day. Because it is the wedding, wedding day preparations. And she got everybody uh, in every room getting ready. Uh Trying to make sure everybody make up together, everybody held together. At least she got them in one place. So she ain't got to worry about nobody uh, running late or traffic holding them up. So that was a good scene. And uh, they had showed a scene where she gave her mother a special handkerchief that was uh, engraved with a little saying on it and stuff. Kind of touchy feeling. Because uh, her mom seemed like she held the family together after her father had a stroke. Excuse me, a sub medical issue that kind of took his speech pattern away, and he was working on it through rehab and trying to get it back to normal. But you know, it still wasn't right where it needed to be when it was her wedding time. So she was like helping him, you know, say different things throughout the wedding procession and stuff. But it was all cute, it was all good, it was all good in the neighborhood. Then we got Todd, Todd and Candy at their house getting ready or finishing it up, getting ready, uh, checking each other's dress code, making sure everything up the par, you know, and then they start to go in and talk about uh, Eva having uh, a, a, a plate, you know, for everybody to eat. Each person is $1,000. And they looking like, is she crazy? You know, that's too much money. A th one person is going to have a plate worth a $1,000 worth of food on it. And they both can't believe it, and I can't believe it either. And Todd make a little pun, uh, a crack, a joke, saying he could have just got us to cater it for twenty three fifty a person and save her a hell of a lot of money. And they both just keep it on out and whatever. And then you got Cynthia coming over, her and Mike, because I guess they just wanted to ride. They didn't want to take the drive, so Candy said they could ride with her and Todd. So. That's what happened. Uh, they came to the house, got in the Jeep, and they went to ride on down to the wedding. So, in that drive, Candy was talking to Cynthia about uh, Nene again and how upset she was and how she called her and, you know, trying to get her straight. Because evidently, Marlo went and told something uh, negative because, they, you know, uh, Candy and Marlo and Portia had a lunch, you know, the last uh, episode, and they were just uh, trying to catch Marlo up on some things that happened inside Nene Claus, and of course, she gonna swear she didn't know she, you know, she was there, but she wasn't there, in other words, and, you know, Portia trying to basically tell her, yeah, I know you heard all that, you were there, you came back there in the closet, you know what was going on, but, you know, Marlo was like, uh-uh. I ain't saw that her name. Tell me what you think happened. So, basically, uh, it, it was just one perspective given, and Candy felt that Marlo done went and told Nene of their little lunch they had and gave her all the wrong answers and, and everything, and Nene was just mad and trying to call her to get her straight. <laughs> Then we move on for now. We got Mike and Eva. Um, they're uh, basically, we're at the wedding. Everything's set. People don't arrive at the venue. And they're up there with the pastor and everything. And, and Mike is trying to read off a paper or cue card his wedding vows. And I'm like, Mike, why you just can keep it short and simple? You know, sweet, short, and, and to the point, And you didn't have to read off no paper. But he, you know, sitting there, and he's supposed to be a politician. I'm like, boy, you're supposed to have your speeches already out like the town. You know what I'm saying? It took eight weeks to prepare for the wedding. Surely you could have uh, remembered 
a paragraph what you wanted to say to her or whatever. You know, who am I? Who am I? But then Eva turned around and did the same thing when it was time for her to give her vow. She coming out with a cue card. And uh, uh, excuse me, a message back to him on why she married him and what made her marry him and, 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 and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, then we got Nene. She's sitting back looking at all of this. Uh, and uh, she's sitting right next to uh, Cynthia's friend, Mike. And she's remembering her and Greg's wedding and where it is now. And then you got Cynthia over there uh, looking at uh, Eva and her husband getting married. And she's playing in her mind. That's her and Mike up there. I said, girl, girl, girl. Where is, uh, what's her name? Cynthia Bailey's uh, daughter. Where Noel at? Where is Noel? Because I'm pretty sure she'd be like, Mama, sit down. Sit down, Mama. Sit down. Okay? We don't know what my finances look like. We don't know, uh, is he stable? You know, did he, is this his first marriage? Is this his second marriage? You know, how many wives he got out there? We, we don't know all this stuff. But, you know, Cynthia, you know, Cynthia... She just fall in love and just want to get married. I think she just in the uh, way of she just want to be married because everybody else married on the show. That's pretty much, except for Marlo, but she's a friend of the show, so we ain't going to really count her, even though she's been definitely a peach awarding person. But uh, we just, you know, Marlo don't uh, got with so many millionaires and billionaires. She got her money stacked, you know, so she can pretty much date who she want to date. But she kind of like European men, rich and wealthy, rich and wealthy. Okay, so that's all we can say about Marlo. But you know, Nene, she considered, you know, she's married. We got Candy, she married. We got Portia, she finna get ready to be married. Then we got Eva, she's getting married. Um, I think that's pretty much it of the housewife. Okay, we got Ronnie DeVoe and 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 um, what her name? Lord have mercy, uh, Shamari. They married. So, is everybody is in a married group, so I can see why, you know, uh, she feeling some kind of way, Cynthia, because she want to be married again. You know, marriage is in the air. So, I'm like, but don't get divorced again, honey. It don't look good on you, Cynthia. I mean, just stay single for a while, you know what I'm saying? Do, do, go with your first uh, hunch, which was to... Live life to the fullest before you get married. Because you might be like your mama. Divorce after divorce after divorce. And you don't want that. Okay? But anyway, moving on from Cynthia. Um, we got Nene. Uh, after they pronounce uh, Mike and... Uh, not Mike, but... Uh, I think his name is Mike. After they pronounce Mike and uh, Eva married. Uh, you know, they kiss and stuff, and they ready to party, and Eva got to change into a couple of more dresses, you know, because she had three, which, I, that, that wedding dress, that, that, that off-the-shoulder thing, it didn't even look like it was fitting her right there, it should have been fitting a little bit more snug than what it was, beautiful dress, but I'm like, mm, mm that didn't look right coming down now, but, you know, that's what she wanted to wear, because she definitely had two other dresses to fold in as well. But Nene, after those announcements are made and they're married, Nene just storms off, you know, like she got to go to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> I was like, this, this woman done lost her mind. But she passed uh, through Cynthia. She passed uh, through Candy real fast, and they try to figure out what's wrong with her. But, you know, Spinny Gonzalez, uh, Miss Lee, she got to go. So, you know, everything got to be about Nene. She got to make an entrance, and she got to make an exit, all right? Uh, then we got, uh, you know, both of Cynthia and Canada, they're talking amongst themselves. They're wondering what's wrong with Nene. They need to go to the bathroom, see what's going out, going on with them. Marlo, uh, trace behind them as well. Then we got Candy and Portia. They're talking about what Marlo said back to Nene when, you know, um, uh, they don't re recognize when uh, Marlo walks up behind them and trying to, you know, get the tea on what was spilled. So, you know, of course, Marlo, like, I ain't gonna go through this third party mess. So, he said, she said, why don't I just go on again, Nene? We all just kumbaya for a moment and, and get the real tea 
while everybody's in, you know, uh, you know, everybody's present, and we can go from there. And then, you know, uh, Portia, like, stepping to Marlo like she should. Like, no, nah, Marlo, you the one done told something wrong. Here, dog, we'll holler, and you done holler. So whatever you told Nene, it's just up to Auntie for her to get back on our behinds again, okay, about said day. But she like, uh-uh, I ain't going to get involved. Y'all said I was wrong. Okay, I accept that, but let me go get Nene so we just straighten all of this issue out of what happened last time and, and we can move forward. So she leaves to go get Nene. And Portia and Kenna just talks amongst themselves, okay, about what they're going to say when she get there collectively, okay? Uh, that united front needs to happen. So then they need to tell Cynthia that her and Greg are talking about living in separate houses and, and, and you know, separate because she's just tired of them. She, she, she done did all she can do. <laughs> like, Nene, girl, you might need a vacation, okay? You can't take a vacation with the girls because you're showing out there. You're missing Greg, talking about Greg, everything Greg. Okay, so I, I don't know where you need to go, child. I, I don't know what you need to do, Nene, but, yeah, I'm tired of your storyline this season. Because you don't about dried it out for me. You know what I'm saying? It just never has a empty or, 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 or fulfilling part about it. I mean, Greg is sick. Greg, yes, he's going to be annoying because he's annoyed. He don't know how much time he got left on this world. And in this world, and, you know, he's trying to make preparations for everything. Then he's trying to fight because he ain't ready to go. Okay? So, then he's, you know... Give him a little slack. That's all I like to say. Give, give Greg a little slack. And then, um, Marlo get all the women together and they start discussing everyone's behavior, uh, at Nene's house. And Ken and Portia feel they did nothing wrong. And Nene goes out and tell them, Oh, really? Oh, so that you go, okay, well, y'all disrespectful anyway, because y'all go over each other's houses and disrespect, you know, one another's houses. But when you come to mind that, that we can't do that, we got to have some respect going on. And that's just what I didn't get from y'all. Y'all were wrong, da 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 da. -da. Then, you know, of course, Portia gonna make her stance, Candy gonna make her stance. And, you know, it ain't getting nowhere. Because Nene looking at them like they're crazy. She rolling her eyes. She's like, look, I'm going through too much. It's much more that y'all don't know that I care not to share with y'all at this time. However, <laughs> y'all bitches wrong. Okay? Is that what they said? That what they said. These, they, the female dogs. I'm sorry for cussing. But let's put it like this. Female dogs, you're wrong. So they knew they weren't getting nowhere. So they conceded. They just both conceded and said, forget it. I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry you're going through. Uh, you, you've been going through. But I, I guess we're going to have to continue to let you go through. And we just going to shut our mouths on every subject and let you be right. Okay, that's pretty much where it went. And Nene was fine with that. And so she was like, I just need y'all to show me love. I just need y'all to show me love. I said, no, Nene. First you said you wanted them to show you respect. Now you want love too. You want it all. Okay. All right. But she put it all out there. Everybody went and had a group hug. Everybody trying to hug on the Nene and stuff like that. But they're going to be fussing later on. They, they always do. Always do. But then, you know, Marlo said, okay, let's get it together because you got to go out there and make that toast for um, Eva. And um, Nene said, I can't do it. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, girl. Why you just just stay at home? Because you told Shamari you wasn't coming. Then I guess you thought about it. And Shamari had already got her another way to the uh, party. Excuse me, to the wedding, and she got herself on out of there, and then you're going to show up uh, all willy-nilly and, and start all this mess, all this negativity, all this frustration and moods and stuff like of that nature. You're going to get them straight. They're going to apologize to you and, and all of this, and you got them where you want them. Then you're going to talk about, well, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I cannot give her uh, either. No, uh, <laughs> no wedding parting advice of how to have a loving and long lasting marriage, okay? Oh, my lord, it's on, uh -uh, Nene. You need to put it together. You got to get on up there. That's the reason why you're here, right? And then Shamari, you know, she getting, getting her party on. She getting too much alcohol in her system. 
and not enough food and people are noticing because she's getting loud and she noticed the women are over there because she wasn't, you know, she was doing her own thing at the time while they were having this little huddle amongst themselves. And she like, Nene, okay, honey, let's get a party, let's get a party. And they like, oh, Lord, they can't. They went in her confession. They talking about, whoo, let me go get my friend Shamara because she's been act a fool and this just ain't the place for her to be showing out. So uh, that was funny. That was funny. That was funny. Okay, so they got her straightened out, and Marlo won't put her two cents in. So that girl needs some alcohol anonymous. Girl, drank too much. <laughs> I'm like, Marlo, Marlo, why don't you be her mentor, honey? Get be her mentor, okay? Because somebody need to uh, get a hold of Smart that's a little older and wiser. And I think, Marlo, that'll be a good task for you. But anyway, we move on. We got Nene. She finally get 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 on up there and give a toast. Um, and you know it wasn't the best toast. It it, it pretty much was like blah 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 blah. Okay, blah. <laughs> Deuces. You know, I like wait a minute now. That was a half ass um toast that you could probably give anybody. But then who are they asking? That was a hot mess. Anyway, to ask Nene, I mean, come on, Eva. You didn't have nobody that knew you a lot longer than uh, choosing one of the cast members <laughs> or your cast members on the show. You mean you ain't had no good friend from Clark Atlanta University. You ain't have somebody that you dealt with going through top model. I mean, come on. You, the person you're going to get is Nene, and she ain't feeling nobody at this time. She ain't feeling herself. <laughs> So I'm like, then I'm like, did the best man get a toast? You know, I, we didn't get to see that one. I'm sure that was a little livelier than what you gave us, maybe, as a toast to the couple. But anyway, it was short, sweet, and until the point she got the hell out of there. She said, I got to go. I'm bouncing out. Deuces. She didn't get no dance in. She finished that toast, wished them well, got her little purse, and she got to go. And she was like, camera's action, get out my face, pretty much, because I got, I got to go. So she didn't even get her thousand dollar plate that Eva had paid for to eat. She didn't get no alcohol. She just like, I got to go. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that was it for her. No more taping for her. And everybody was looking like, where is she going? Where does she think she going? But Nene was going out that door. That was she was going. Smoke was coming from her heels that she was kicking up trying to get out that door all right and into her car or, or however she got there maybe she called her uber driver i don't know but anyway that was really it for the real housewives of atlanta if it wasn't for marlo kicking up the dust and giving me some to laugh about and shamari and the, uh, the wind over there trying to get her another drink or two i like she remind me of wanda on good times honey I mean, just, or, 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 or what do you call his name? Uh, God, dog. What was his name? The uh, wino. Woodrow. <laughs> I think her name was Woodrow, the wino. She reminded me of him, honey. I'm like, she be taking it in and can't uh, hold on to it. But that's all I had, guys, for the um, title being for the Real Housewives of Atlanta's episode, The Model Bride, season 11, episode 18. Okay, can't wait to next uh, episode in the reunion because I'm sure between Marlo, Shamari, and Portia trying to tell off Nene again, that's going to be something else, something else for us to take part of. All right, thanks for coming to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.